Picture it. The year is 1894. Don't, don't, shh. This is a serious moment, okay? Why are you, why are you laughing? The year before, we had the panic of 1893 in the United States. It was a severe economic depression. New Zealand was the first country in the world to allow women to vote. Let's hear it for New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut to 1894. That was 1893. 1894, the club sandwich was invented, okay? It's the best. And we're going to make it here today on The Cooking Show. Strap in, people. It's going to be a wild ride. This isn't any normal club sandwich. We're taking it to the next level with the turkey. Turkey's a very lean meat, doesn't have a lot of fat on it, um, so it has a tendency to dry out when you cook it. We're gonna be grilling this turkey breast. So in order to make sure that it stays kind of moist and flavorful, we're gonna brine it in a solution of six cups of water, one cup of sugar, one cup of salt. It's gonna add flavor to it, moisture, but it cool slightly, and then we're gonna add our turkey in there gonna go overnight, probably eight to 12 hours. Any more and it starts to really kind of absorb too much of that salt and stuff. This is cooled down. We're gonna add, it's about one and a half pounds of turkey breast. We're gonna fully immerse it. You can put something on top of it, kind of make sure it stays down a bit more. Ta-da! In the fridge, eight to 12 hours. Ooh. All right, look at this. So we're gonna take our turkey out of the brine. Breast has a tendency to be not very fatful. Yep, that's a word, fatful. Heat up the old grill pan. We're gonna go inside because sometimes everyone gets upset with me when I make everyone go outside all the time, particularly Peter over here. You, he always complains when I have to go outside. Always, you hate going outside, you hate the outdoors. You do, I'm just saying this, okay? You do agree with me. You hate it. I'm gonna just drizzle a little bit of oil on this, because as I said, there's not a lot of fat in the old turkey breast. What do you have written on your hand? Nothing. <laughs> you can't read that, can you? I can't read it either. Don't worry about what I have written on my hand, all right? Remember how I gave all those facts in the beginning? That was 1893. 1894. In case I forgot. <laughs> I wrote it on my hand, okay? See this chunk of meat right here? Boom. We'll take a moment of silence to respect the club sandwich. Okay, this is boring. I hate a moment of silence. Moment of silence doesn't mean you have to close your eyes. Well, I like to close my eyes because then it's quiet. It's like I'm sleeping and I, I'm quiet when I'm sleeping. I do talk in my sleep though. My parents and my cousin were on a, like a trip together in Connecticut where shit gets wild. And my cousin and I went out and had drinks and then we came back and went to go to sleep upstairs, and I woke up on the couch downstairs. I don't know how I got there. So evidently, not only I talk in my sleep, I walk in my sleep. It's crazy, right? You blackout. I didn't black out. Blackout. I was browned out. I browned out. Look how thick this shit is, okay? It's not gonna finish grilling on here the whole time, so I'm gonna pop it into an oven. If you have a grill outside, grill it, do it in indirect heat, okay? And just cook it until the thermometer reads like 165 or whatever that is. I'm just gonna color on both sides on the grill pan. I'm gonna pop it into the oven. Here we go. Good old streaky bacon. Cook this guy up. My, my friend Jane was a lifeguard every summer and I would sneak into the clubs where she worked and she used to get a free lunch or whatever and we'd always get a club sandwich nine out of 10 times and we share a club sandwich. It's a really great sandwich to share. Now I feel like I get a club all the time at diners and stuff, but a club sandwich just feels like summer to me. It feels like I'm laying by the pool, I, I can feel the chlorine all over my body from swimming and stuff, and then you're having a club sandwich, there's that smell of like the, the chlorine and the, the club sandwich. It's something, I know it sounds weird, but it's, it's very nostalgic to me. Whoever invented the club sandwich, they have like Einstein status in my opinion. Or like, who's that inventor invented the light bulb? Edison. <laughs> Thomas Edison status. This club sandwich is golden with onion rings, okay? Let's hear it for the onion ring. Everyone clap your hands, clap your hands. Come on, Virginia, clap. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Onion rings. I want to combine the best things about onion rings into this recipe. So we did. Just heat up your oil to about 375. While that's heating, 
We've got, I believe it's one cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of cornstarch, teaspoon or so of salt, and a combination of baking soda and baking powder. So the batter is going to be light and crispy and airy, but it's also going to cling to the onion ring itself. We're gonna use a white onion today. So a white onion is a little bit more tender. It also has a little bit more of a dominant onion flavor, which I like because this is an onion ring, you wanna taste the onion in it, okay? So I'm gonna do it a little bit more than a half an inch, probably about three quarters of an inch thick, okay? Just like that. You can cut onions for onion rings as thin or as thick as you like. I like mine a little bit thicker for obvious reasons. I'm just gonna peel apart all the little rings. One and a quarter cups sparkling water. When you whisk it too much, you're gonna lose all those bubbles. You're gonna whip the bubbles out of it. You don't wanna do that. So do it last minute. Just kinda gently whisk it in there. It's gonna foam up a little bit. One hand wet, you're gonna dip it in there and then drop it in and then you'll use the right hand to keep that dry, okay? So I'm gonna pop these guys in. Get her on in there. So it's gonna take about two to three minutes in the oil. You're looking to cook mainly the batter. The onion will cook naturally in there. So you wanna cook it nice until it's a little bit over golden. All right, these are looking pretty good. Don't forget to salt it right when it comes out. The thing about an onion ring, you're always gonna burn your fucking mouth on it because it comes out so fucking hot and fast. Mm. It's like sweet, crispy, those are good. Okay, turkey's been resting. We talk about this all the time, but letting your meat rest, it'll let all the juices settle. You can see I've wiped up a little bit, but the juices kind of, it settles, it relaxes. It's gonna make your meat more tender. Also always slice it against the grain. So slice it away. Slap some mayonnaise on the inside of both of these pieces. I do my lettuce on the bottom, just like this. On the inside, I'm gonna put my tomatoes. You can see these are super juicy tomatoes. Then I'm gonna season my tomatoes, just a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper as well. And then we're gonna put our bacon. A few slices here and there. This goes on top. You got your perfect BLT, but wait, there's more. We are gonna make this the ultimate sandwich, right? We're gonna make it a club sandwich. So we're gonna put more mayonnaise on top of that bad boy. And then we're gonna to top it with our turkey. Last piece of bread, a bit more mayo. That bad boy right there is the best. We're gonna cut it into quarters. So right across like this. It is a requirement when you're making a club sandwich to use these toothpicks. If you really want to go festive, use an umbrella. Pin these together into my four quadrants. Okay, ready for this? is a club sandwich right there. The onion rings right in the middle. And don't forget the goddamn pickles, people. The best way to eat your club, you're gonna ask the onion rings, but you're gonna also want some potato chips on the side. Oh yeah. The hardest thing about a club sandwich is eating it, because it's so many layers that like, how? How do you fit this in your mouth? Don't watch me. The king, the queen of sandwiches. If you want to join this club, go to Munchies. Click the link in the description below. So good. Thanks for joining me. Please make the recipe. Enjoy. It's delicious. <laughs>